We are now going to continue on with today's Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series media availability. We are joined by Ryan Newman, driver of the number 31 Childress Vineyards Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. Ryan, doing double duty here this weekend with the Modifieds and the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. What's it like being back here at a, at a track you've had a lot of success at? It's always a fun racetrack. I guess you never know what um, the chemistry is going to be when you come back with the racetrack. Um, obviously, with the uh, PJ1 or whatever they call it on the racetrack, it's um, it's a little bit different than it's been for the last several years, but similar to the spring. And um, I guess you're kind of at the mercy of the guy running the sprayer on your Fridays so, uh, to know what to, to expect. So I think at this point, we all kind of know. and. Um, we um, we got a little bit of work to do with our Childress Vineyards Chevrolet in the uh, Cup Series, but the Modified was running really good. Good deal. We're going to open the floor up for questions. If you have a question for Ryan, please raise your hand. We'll get a wireless microphone to you. We'll start up here. Hi, Bob, Full Throttle Magazine out of New York. As the race progresses, can you feel the tackiness change on the corners from that PJ1? Can you feel a difference from the you know, beginning of the race to the end of the race, or is it hard to adjust for it, or you just keep going the same way? Yes, yes, and yes. Um, you can definitely feel it. Um, it does change, and I think it's more sensitive to the heat uh, as far as how hot the asphalt gets and how much we spread it, smear it, pick it up, and displace it. Um, but overall, it's the same for everybody. You just kind of got to search around at times. Um, and most importantly, if you're trying to pass somebody, you got to go where that guy's not, nevertheless. So, um, you know, it, it, um, it has. It has a transition to it, but it all depends on the conditions. Amy, then Lee. Amy Harrop, Race for Weekly. Um, so you're coming into this weekend um, out of contention for round two. So what are some of your biggest focuses and things that you think that you need to work on this weekend to help your team get into that second stage? Well, we're still in contention. We're just currently in an out position. <laughs> so my therapist said not to be mean to people like you. <laughs> 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 no, all seriousness, we, um, you know, we had a rough Chicago and just um, look forward to making the best of this opportunity. And um, we've worked uh, really hard for 27 races and, um, you know, we got a lot of fight left in us and just have to go out there and make the best of it. First practice wasn't the greatest, but um, we've still got a lot of time left to get um, a good finish, you know, come checkered flag on Sunday. Go to Lee, then to Lewis. Lee Spencer, motorsport.com. Um, Sports business, business Journal says Caterpillar's close to renewing their deal at RCR. How much confidence does that give you knowing that, um, you know, especially in the sponsor climate, that at least knowing that the sponsor supports you, it, it gives you uh, job security at this point? Yeah, I mean, you definitely want to have um, a, a multiple things. You want to have sponsors behind you that believe in you, and you want to also believe in your sponsors. And Caterpillar's been a great sponsor for me personally and for RCR. And you, years prior to me. So for them to come back and, um, you know, be close to coming back is, is important to us. Um, you know, it, it, it feeds a lot of families. It contributes a lot. And most importantly, it's what we believe in. So, um, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a big step. Um, it doesn't mean we're full of sponsorship because we're not. Um, but at the same time, you know, having the people back that it, you have built relationships and partnerships with is um, it's kind of like a combination of family and marriage and friends. It's nice to have. Quite a few. I don't know the exact number, but quite a few. So we're we're continually working on it, like a lot of teams are. But um, you know, you you see different sponsors on different cars up here. There's um, there's concern for a lot of people. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go to Lewis, then to the back to Paul. Lewis Frank Reuters. Hello. Uh, a couple of years ago, you made it all the way to Homestead on consistency. That's a word we haven't heard due to stages. And Jimmy Johnson said he finished eighth last week, and he finds out he's not eighth. Does it change the way you, you approach the stage racing now? I mean, do you, do you have to run harder sooner? You have to run hard the whole time. I mean, the, the, way the, the way the points work, there's just more of a gap now from 1st to 16th, let's say. So, um, And it's especially the top 10 with the stage breaks. So you just have to run as hard as you possibly can, get as much as you can the whole time, and at the same time not sacrifice the next stage for the stage that you're in. Um, you know, the the big ones at the end. So, uh, you know, getting stage points and then costing yourself a bunch of track position for the next stage is not not a good plan. So, um, yeah, I think it's, I'm still trying to figure out how the 
24 got all his points, but yeah, yeah. And what's an encumbered finish when you're second? What does that mean? It means you were, you cannot use the benefit for for that finish in a tiebreaker scenario. So they, that would that would uh, eliminate gotcha. eliminate that, and plus you eliminate That's that a, playoff point. That was a okay. big penalty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll go to Paul, and we'll go back to Lee. Uh, Paul Lambert, short track scene. Ryan, you've raced this, the modifieds here so many times. What makes that so much fun for you in the car? Ah, just the cars, the drivers, the people. Um, this racetrack, it's, um, you know, this, I haven't raced a whole lot of other modified races, but they say this is kind of the big one. So, um, you know, to come here and race with these guys and be competitive and, you know, have a car that's potentially capable of winning and um, just having fun. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a different kind of racing. Uh, because of the downforce and the horsepower and this lower center of gravity. It's just a lot of fun to drive. Back to the encumbered finish. Uh, you know, if you were, could be mayor of NASCAR for the day, what would you do as far as points? I mean, is a DQ a DQ or is it encumbered or, you know, describe encumbered? I mean, you had to ask what it meant. I mean... Well, I know what it meant, but see, my, my problem with it is, is he lapped me to be two laps down, two laps to go in the second stage. And I'm pretty sure his car had the same infractions at that point as it did throughout the entire race. So his his situation changed my situation and the way we raced our race because of that. And I, obviously NASCAR deemed it an advantage. So um, you know what? How do you really penalize in that situation? It's just to me, it's shame on a lot of people for not letting that for letting it get to that point. So, and he also won a stage, and that's a stage win that could have gone to somebody else. Would you agree with that? Well, yeah, I mean, that's he got he got a bonus point. He got points for winning that stage. I mean, just to me, the math doesn't add up. I mean, for how serious some of the penalties have been here in the last little bit, um, and then I don't know, see the guys kind of mocking mocking their penalty from last week, just doesn't look really good for a lot of people. Additional questions for Ryan. Well, Ryan, thanks for taking the time to join us, and uh, good Thank luck. Thank you.